So you need projects for your web development portfolio. Well, you reach right video. Let me explain. This video is brought to you by DigiLink Academy, your number one source to learning programming fast and get to that six figure freelance salary you desire. Our courses include our SQL project course, our freelance Kickstarter, our Python course, and our interview programming course, and much, much more. So if you haven't already, go ahead and click the link below to get to our free seven step freelance guide so that we can help take your career to the next level. I'll see you guys in the course. All right, guys, we got a good one here today. We're going to talk about projects. I got some good notes for you guys here to cover and want to make sure you guys are on the right track so that you can tell, take your portfolio to the next level and go from there. So at the end of the day, guys, it's all about high impact project that solve company current problems. If you're not doing that, if your projects are not around that, it's not going to help progress your career. That's the thing that's going to help advance your career the most as far as your resume, your interview. Uh, just makes things so much easier when you are in line with company high impact projects and solving them and your portfolio reflects that guys so at the end of the day you have to make sure you got that guys if not you're going to struggle or <clears throat> you will have a position uh, situation where another developer who may not know as much as co much more about coding or less than you will actually get the job guys so at the end of the day guys the big problem with companies are that they will not uh, promote junior developers unless the market put pressure on them to do so. So you as a junior developer have to put yourself in a position so that you can get those raises and get those promotions without having to beg a company for that guys. And I got a couple of reasons here why, so that you can increase your market value so that you can get the raises you want and projects are going to help you out with that. <clears throat> I can't cover everything on this video guys. So down below in the description got, got a box. I got a seven step guide that's going to help take your pro, uh, your projects to the next level. So sign up for that free seven step freelance guide uh, for your portfolio. And also if you already signed up for that freelance guide, <clears throat> we have some premium courses for you guys as well. So go ahead, links are below for that. And you're gonna be a part of our free community, still building that thing out. So we got a, a lot of good stuff <clears throat> coming. So go ahead and get started on that guys. So. At the end of the day, guys, let's put ourselves in a position of a um, a junior C sharp developer who won a promotion, been working for a company about a year and a half, haven't gotten any raises, been doing pretty good work. You know, ain't, ain't the best work, but enough to um, get a raise. So, what do this junior um, C sharp developer do? So, the first thing that C sharp developer should do is set up a meeting with the software uh, manager or the software director so that they can review you where they are as far as just their career, their job, their current status of the company, and really have that one-on-one -on -one time with that uh, manager or that director. So once you set up that, um, that meeting, what do you uh, talk about? Well, you can go in there and beg for a job, or you can go in there and say, hey, I deserve a raise, give me a raise. And eh, it may work, but more than likely it won't work. You have to basically justify why you need more, why you are more valuable to that company. When you leave, they will feel it, or it will be harder to replace you at your current salary. So they might as well give you a raise. That being said, how do you communicate this and how you do it in a way where the manager could understand this and be able to go to the HR or his boss and say, hey, give this guy a raise. He's valuable to my company. Give them a raise right now. Boom. <clears throat> so you want a $25,000 raise or you just want to be a senior level developer. You set up the meeting. Everything go good. You got that. So you decided that hey, I'm going to go ahead and showcase my projects that I've done over the years so that I can, first of all, showcase <clears throat> what I've done in the past and what I'm going to do in the future and how it's going to impact the company. Great. Good strategy. You're ready to go. Now, what do you talk about during the meeting? 
This is the critical part of this video, guys. And this is what's gonna set my content apart from everybody else because I can go through and just tell you to just put, put basic coding project, calculator apps, to do apps, all that basic stuff. No, we're gonna give you specific projects here, guys, so that we're gonna help you guys out. Bear with me, guys. <clears throat> Got a little bit of a code going and I'm um, trying to get through this video. Still going to drop you guys some really good content. So bear with me. Things are going to get better and uh, we're going to get you guys started. So that being said, all right, meeting day. We're going to get to this meeting uh, with the software um, developer manager or director. We're going to meeting. What are we going to talk about? First of all, I always go in there on a positive note. Make sure, hey, we're on the team together. Don't make it controversial. Don't make it hard for them to make a decision. You just laying stuff out. That's all you're doing. You know, just basically making it clear, showcasing your value so that they can translate this to the next person so you can justify your raise. So first project you got on that list that you're going to talk about is ERP uh, workflow automation functionality. You should have this on your list, guys. If you don't, you're going to be making a mistake. Every company going to have some form of an ERP system. ERP system is their main system that's going to allow them to take orders, process them, um, invoice, and all that good stuff. So some companies going to have, they call it different things. It may be a management system. It may be something else, but whatever that company core system for you, <clears throat> you should be building integrations with that to automate workflow. This is a C Sharp developer, so they should have a project. It don't have to be all gooey and that, things like that, but you should be able to go to this manager on your portfolio and say, they was doing this manual before my code was in place or my software in place. <clears throat> now that's automated. I have over a hundred people who used to do this manually every day, taking about three hours a day, over a hundred people. Now that's automated. That's time is money, guys. <clears throat> That's going to justify you getting that raise pretty fast. Just that one project alone, and we got more to even talk about. So now you got that uh, uh, software development manager um, attention because now they know, oh, he showed up to play. He showed up to really um, <clears throat> showcase his value. So um, tell me more. And they're not going to be excited. Don't expect them to be ha ha hooray because they got their poker face on. They're trying to see where you at. They're trying to side show up, make sure you're worth that raise. Make sure that, hey, once you get that raise, it's going to be justified and you don't make them look bad. So, guys, it's very important that you guys make sure you showcase these projects correctly. And this is all something a junior developer can do as well. So, um, project number two, something customer facing, a JavaScript website portal um, that really showcase your ability for UI and UX design. This is for some of you front end developers. And you notice that I haven't, I put an emphasis on UX and UI experience, not design, because a lot of you guys get in here and say, I'm just going to focus 98% of my time in the C CSS and just make it pretty colors, all that stuff, the stuff you see, which, okay, that's a part of branding and sales and making things look professional. But I'm talking about experience, being able to put elements on a screen that's useful at that specific time, that specific use case, that's going to help make people more productive. You get calls from a customer asking about the status of a load all the time and they do that let's just say 12 times a day and they do that across multiple um customers well you want to set up them an online portal they can log in they have access to all that information and not only they have access to the information you can see their current loads you can see what's going on there the current orders what the status is they don't have to call and talk to somebody they can check it anytime any day and your ui code allow your personnel office staff to not get those calls so they can focus on more high level high impact projects that's what your code did that's your second one guys and you can start adding functionality like business alerting um, where somebody log in or loads late so that you can actually put that on that portal and then you can even let them know when things are the issue so you don't get calls about that as well that's a huge thing you can do from alerting graphics um, <clears throat> and a UI. A lot of you guys sleep on that reporting. You think that's more for business analysts, which pure reporting is, but I'm talking about integrating automation and really doing that dashboard type feel. You need to do that. <clears throat> So um, number three project, guys, talking about um, 
dashboards let's go to the sales side of the fence every company is going to have some kind of sales department that has to manage customers they're going to have some form of a crm maybe excel spreadsheet whatever that may be they need marketing automation guys they need some kind of dashboard to let them know what the customer status is certain alerts what if uh, one of those customers log on to their portal and see about a late load and you got to go see that customer you want to know that type of information so that you can get in front of those questions and be more professional and more knowledgeable what that company needs or emails you want to see why their uh, sales volumes going up down um, all that good stuff potential clients in the industry there's a lot of automation there guys that you can really leverage when you integrate your CRM and your ERP system through code you can do that pretty easily um, through the database through front end that's something that you need to showcase on that resume guys really good stuff last but not least is the uh, performance this is something that always is going to be a reoccurring thing um, your code will be um at a position where you need to optimize it as your company grow and the scope of it get larger some of your code that may not be written optimal for that particular size company you're going to have to improve that the only way you're going to know that is to put uh processes in place tests in place to be able to monitor that so that you can make that user experience faster from a performance standpoint this is always something you can always do from a bread and butter standpoint may not be the top of the list but it's something that you can put on there so that you can continue to be optimizing looking for those business processes because time is money just say you got 12,000 employees you log into a system it takes i don't know 47 seconds to load you can get that down to five seconds millions of hours and time being saved guys that's what i'm talking about so at the end of the day you laid these out you talking to company language you're talking to your boss you got a good balance of the business and the software as a junior developer by the way you're going to get that raise you're going to be put in a position so that now that software development boss can take this stuff that you just gave them on a silver platter and say this is why i need to give rod or whoever the junior c-sharp developer a raise because of this kind of stuff guys guys if you agree with me comment below if you disagree with me comment below i want to give you more projects but i can't make this video too long so if you haven't already we talk about more projects in my seven step guide is way more than this guy so links are below and um I want to make sure i covered everything but at the end of the day guys it's all about your business projects and how impactful they are from a software from a coding from a workflow perspective you got to get this in your mind because most of our developers are going to be in this position especially if you're a freelancer so if you haven't already go ahead and check out the goodies below in the description box sign up for that seven step guide go ahead and support the channel and buy some of those free courses or buy some of those premium courses so that you can advance your career and get to that six-figure salary you deserve and um, i'll put a link to my um, seven step guide here so go ahead and pick that up guys like subscribe to the content and uh, i'll see you guys in the next video peace